like in real time hey everybody welcome back to undertale in the last episode we did some stuff with papyrus and had a very interesting fight interesting yeah in this episode we're going to take him up on that date offer we are so you came back to have a date with me sure you must be really serious about this i don't remember why i said last time when we failed to record this i'll have to take you someplace really special uh -huh. a place i like to spend a lot of time in a hole in the ground uh -huh. So in order to get there, we're just going to have to go this way a little bit, and then after that, we'll make a sharp U-turn and then go back in the direction we came. Trust me, this 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 makes the trip very easy. And then we get right about here, my house. <laughs> Sands is out in the shower upstairs. This is my brother's pet rock. He always forgets to feed it. <laughs> As usual, I have to take responsibility. The rock is covered in sprinkles. <laughs> My voice cracked. My I brother didn't... always goes out to eat, but recently he tried baking something. It was like a quiche. Oh, good lord. But filled with a sugary non-egg substance. How absurd. Impressed? Mm -hmm. I increased the height of my sink. Why? Now I can fit more buns under... Buns? Bones under it. Take a look-see. <laughs> What? Catch that meddling canine! Curses! <laughs> Sans! Stop plaguing my life with incidental music! Why? It's fun! <laughs> and I think there's a couple other things. Aha! Interested in my food museum? Please, peruse my <laughs> culinary art show. Wait a minute. Obsession with the dates. Likes to cook. Has no luck at all whatsoever. This is Brock! That's <laughs> the trash can. Feel free to visit it any time! Well, damn. <laughs> it's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Ooh. Sans, please pick up your sock! Scandalous. Okay! Don't put it back down! Move <laughs> it! Okay! You moved it two inches! Move it to your room! Okay! And don't bring it back! <laughs> okay. It's still here! Didn't you just say not to bring it back to my room? Forget it! <laughs> you touch the couch. It makes a jangling sound. You find a bunch of loose coins inside the couch. Oh, we actually got 20 gold. Okay, cool. Nice. We're stealing his money. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> if you go into someone else's house and just mess around with their furniture, you can find money? Apparently. Mm -hmm. I'll be back. I just have to go downstairs real quick. Oh, it's, <laughs> Good luck. It's my favorite game show. It says, stay tuned for a new program, MTT. <laughs> what? It's usually better than this. This is just a bad episode. Don't judge me. Okay. It's a joke book. I'm not even looking at it the right way. Take a look inside. Inside the joke book was a quantum physics book. You look inside. Inside the quantum physics book was another joke book. You look inside. There's another quantum physics book. You decide to stop. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to scenic my house. Enjoy and take your time. A classic image. It always reminds me of what's important in life. The thing under your bones. The door is locked and there's fire coming out of it. I'm pretty sure that's steam from sand taking a shower. That's my room. If you finish looking around, we could go in and do whatever people do when they date. Netflix and no. chili bones. <laughs> hey, those are all the attacks I used on you. Great memories, huh? Seems like it was only yesterday. It was yesterday, you moron! Even Actually, according to the innkeeper, it was two minutes ago. It basically uh. just happened. Does he say something else? No. That's my bed. Oh my gosh, a car bed in the top floor? It's Simon Honeydew of the Yogscast. If I ever get to the surface, I'd like to drive down a long highway. Wind in my hair, sun on my skin. Of course, that's just a dream. So instead, I cruise while I snooze. Okay. Ah, yes, action figures. A great reference for oh gosh, theoretical battle Sheen. scenarios. Papyrus is Sheen. <laughs> How do I have so many? One's well, Ultra Lord, isn't it? Let's just say they're from a chubby, smiling man who loves to surprise people. 
Yeah, that's right. Santa. I was gonna. I was Santa. Gonna, I was gonna say smoke, oh, but okay. Oh, oh. Isn't that no, black? No, smell likes to eat people. Uh, and I found it at the bay. I think it's from the human world. And now I no. know what you're thinking. Why would a human flag have a cool skeleton on it? Well, I have a theory. A game theory. Thanks for watching Ends episode. I think humans must have descended from skeletons. Uh, sure. Yeah. Then what are you? That book's one of my favorites. Advanced Puzzle Construction for Critical Minds. That next book's another one of my favorites. Peekaboo with Fluffy Bunny. <laughs> the ending always gets me. Interesting. There are no skeletons inside my closet. Except me sometimes. Look in the closet? Clothes are hung up neatly inside. Any socks? I, I, I might have a sock fetish after this game. The <laughs> internet! I'm quite popular there! I'm just a dozen away from a double digit follower count! <laughs> of course, fame has a steep price. A jealous troll has besieged my online persona! Always sending me bad puns in a goofy font. And is Tutorial. He... Okay. It's open to a social media site. Alright. It's my space. Enough beating around the bush. So, um, if you've seen everything, do you want to start the date? You mean this wasn't the date? Not yet, apparently. Okay. The bed we are sitting on started start. rocking. Yeah, that's a thing. Dating start. Here we are, on our date. Uh -oh. I've actually never done this before. But don't worry, you can't spell prepared without several letters from my name. <laughs> Except the E. I snagged an official dating rulebook from the library. We're ready to have a great time. Let's see. <laughs> Step one, press your controller's triangle button for the dating HUD. Oh, we actually know the day. Wowie! I feel so informed! What the hell? I think we're ready for step two! Step two. Ask them on a date. What the hell? Ahem! Human! I, the great Papyrus, will go on a date with you! Egg. There's a dog on the radar. R really? Wowie! I guess that means it's time for part three! Ah, step three, let's see. Yeah. Put on nice clothes to show you care. Hmm. Wait a second. Wear clothing. That bandana around your head. <laughs> You're wearing clothing right now! Not only that. Earlier today, you were also wearing clothing. No. Could it be? You've wanted to date me from the very beginning? Oh, shit. Sure. You hey, you grew eyeballs. No! You planned it all! You're way better at dating than I am! Maybe. No! Your dating power! It's... Yeah. Over. Yeah. <laughs> Don't think you've bested me yet! I, the Great Papyrus! I've never been beaten at dating, and I never will! What? I can easily keep up with you! You sure. see, I too can wear clothing! In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes! Just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date! So you didn't know about Step 3 until just now. Behold! I feel like I'm watching an anime battle. <laughs> what do you think of my secret style? I hate it. Uh, I'm actually curious. No! Your honesty! It shows how much you really care! Uh, well... However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid! This okay. date won't escalate any further! Um, objection? Unless you find my secret. But that won't happen. Usually when I'm talking about it, oh no. Human souls are stronger than monster souls. But the souls of our shoes, on the other hand, are about the same. 
If the secret's in your pants. <laughs> Holding my hand so I'll tell you the answer. No! I must resist! This shirt didn't originally say cool, but I improved it. Expert tip, all clothing articles can be improved this way. Uh, it looks like cook, cook, dude. There's no secret to my legs. Just hard work and perseverance. Right, your legs. That was totally what we were clicking on. I see. I see. You like caressing my biceps with a floating heart. <coughs> but who doesn't? No. <laughs> Won't buy. My hat? We weren't clicking on your hat. My hat? My hat! Yeah! Well then, you found my secret. I suppose I have no choice. It's a I present. Don't know what that is. A present just for you. Okay. Do you know what this is? A brain. No idea. Yeah, that's right. You have no idea. Actually, I'm pretty sure it's spaghetti. Though this appears to be spaghetti. This ain't any plain old pasta. This is an artisan's work. Artisan? I decided to give it a different emphasis. Okay. I guess he's a very soon that. Silk and spaghetti, finely aged in an oaken <sighs> cask. Then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus. Human, it's time to end this. There's no way this can go any further. Uh. You take a small bite. I haven't eaten weeks. Your face reflexively scrunches up. The taste is indescribable. It tastes like dishwater. What a passionate expression. You must really love my cooking. And by extension, me. Maybe even more than I do. Not possible. <laughs> no! <laughs> what the hell? I'm pretty sure this is an anime, but not the kind I thought I was watching. <laughs> Human, it's clear now. You're madly in love with me! Is that what's going on? Everything you do, everything you say... I feel like this should have a sing-song tone to it. It's all been for my sake! Human, I want you to be happy, too. This needs to be remixed as a song. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you. I... Papyrus... I... Uh... Never uh, say I love you after the first date. Boy, is it hot in here, or is it just me? Yes. <laughs> oh, shoot. How are you Even on your hat? I... I'm sorry. He's psychic. I don't like you the way you like me. Romantically, I mean. I mean, I tried very hard to. So, in other words, not the way I like you, so you're desperately in love with me, and I'm just like, eh, you're a guy. I thought that because you flirted with me that I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then, on the date, feelings would blossom forth. I would be able to match your passion for me. But alas, I, the great Papyrus, have failed. I feel just the same Are as you before. Okay? Yes. That sounded very painful. It sounded like you're dying. That's just how I do it. And instead, by dating you, I have only drawn you deeper. Into your intense love for me! No. A dark prison of passion with no escape. You didn't wear the sheet <laughs> with the top hat. How could I have done this to my dear friend? <laughs> no! Wait! That's wrong! I can't fail it to anything! Human! Except everything. I will help you through these trying times! Oh, party. Yeah. I'll keep being your cool friend! And act like this all never happened. After all, you are very great. It would be tragic to lose your friendship. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you. You don't have lips. Because I don't even have lips. Yeah, I know, I just said that. And hey, someday you'll find someone as great as me. Well, mm, no. No, well, That's not true. It won't take long at all whatsoever. But I'll help if you can... settle for second best. There's two people outside. <laughs> yeah. There's Sands next door, and the dog might be back. Oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. Oh. You can call me anytime. You know what that means. Platonically. Well, gotta go. Yeah. <laughs> and I think he actually does disappear. Holy crap. Well, he's gone. Okay. Uh. Oh, that was a fun little date, don't you think? Yeah. I think from here it would be best to...
Call it quits. Yeah. In the next episode, Especially we will... Especially since the phone is ringing. Yeah, we'll go ahead and uh, proceed through the rest of the underground and see where we can go next. So, see y'all later. <laughs>